Hello everyone, welcome to Hunt Electronics. This is your friend Shakib with a new topic LED chaser circuit using PIC microcontroller. So the PIC microcontroller that is a 16F677 is a 14 pin uh, microcontroller which is a programmable which has got an uh, analog to digital converter with a resolution of 10 bit which has got a maximum clock frequency up to 20 megahertz it has got a 12 ios uh, data bit ram size of 64 and which operates on the voltage between 2 to 5.5 volt okay so this is a general specification about this microcontroller now in my last uh, youtube video uh, we have learned about uh, led chaser circuitry using a triple five and cd uh, 4017 so it uh, it is a timer ic over here uh, which gives a clock signal to the uh, decoder and uh, out of this you you get a six channel or eight nine channel over there okay now the same circuitry we are going to study using a pic microcontroller so the peak microcontroller has got various advantages over uh, the ic 555 this analog circuitry uh, first of all it is a programmable okay uh, it will be having uh, 12 ios so you can have a 12 output also but here you can see there are six output over here so even uh, 12 output circuitries are available online over here okay so here also you can control the speed of this light so one what the additional feature in a microcontroller is that you can see here switch is there okay so what happens here uh, in triple five uh, you can't change the mode of the output okay the output sequence is always going to remain same only you can increase and decrease the speed of output leds okay with the help of this pot okay nothing else now in LED chaser using a big microcontroller here you have got one push switch over here which has got 13 different modes means you can't you are not going to only increase the speed but you can change the mode and sequence of the output so that is the main advantage over the analog circuitry over here so in today's practical approach we are going to see and we are going to compare the LED chaser uh, between the microcontroller and uh, analog circuitry that is triple five so let's move towards the practical session friends you can see that uh, i've got this uh, microcontroller uh, led chaser kit over there this is easily available on amazon and flipkart uh, online it is very easily available with the six channel nine channel 12 channel over there so you can see here as i've explained you there is one switch uh, which controls the uh, output mode of the application we have got one pot which uh, increase the speed of the sequence okay so let us uh, give the supply voltage to it so I've got some supply voltage uh, so you can give up to 10 volt over here okay, so this is plus so I've given the minus over here okay, so you can see uh, it is a blanking if i press this switch it will change the mode of operation now see so this is second mode this is third mode fourth mode fifth mode sixth mode seventh mode eighth mode nine mode so total 13 modes are there if you count you will get a 13 different mode over there uh, we can even increase and decrease the speed also of it so so let us just change the preset Okay, now see the speed is different. And if I increase, you get a different speed. So actually, okay, see. Now I've increased the speed. So this preset is used or a port preset it is used to increase and decrease the output sequence. So uh, let us do some big circuitry, let us some construct uh, some LEDs over there so I've got the different LEDs over here and with the help of this LED so 
you can see here I've got the LEDs and with the help of this LED we'll construct one circuitry like the previous one and let's test and compare the triple five with respect to peak microcontroller IC. Okay, so let's start with the soldering stuff. A few inches later. Okay friends, so we have finished with all soldering stuff. Let us check whether each and every connection has been done properly. So friend, now I have finished with all the soldering stuff. You can see this. I have done with all soldering. I have connected all six channel wire. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one ground over here. You can see this. I have connected to all the circuitry here at the back side to the transistor load over here. Now, as we have finished with all the soldering stuff, let us compare uh, my last video triple five uh, LED chaser with the triple five with respect to the LED chaser with the peak microcontroller. So now we can see here, this, this was my last uh, YouTube video where I have done a LED chaser using a triple five and decoder over here. So I've got some power supply, let's turn on the power supply over here. You can see here, you can see the pattern over here, okay. Now what is the main drawback of uh, uh, this circuitry that is uh, LED chaser using the triple five and decoder. We can't change the pattern. We can only just increase and decrease the speed of the pattern. You can see here. This is decreasing. Now we can increase it. That's it, my friends. So we can only increase and decrease the speed, but we can't change the pattern. This is the main drawback over here. Now let's turn on the LED chaser uh, using a peak microcontroller. So I'll just power supply over here okay take this one okay so let us give the power so this is your ground wire and plus VCC over here so you can give 9 to 12 volt okay my friends you can see here now this circuitry has got a 13 different mode over here you can see here this is a speed control over here knob over here so if I increase and decrease the speed is going to get up see now if it has slowed down the speed slowly slowly I can increase the same feature which is available with the triple five circuit to see now increase the speed again I have decreased the speed okay but what is the advantage in this in the peak microcontroller we can change the output mode here so there is one interrupt switch over there by giving the uh, high input interrupt to the microcontroller we can change the output now see sequence is changing so the next sequence you can see how the LEDs are changing the sequence see this sequence over there so it has got 13 different mode with the use of programming you know in the program you can just create a 14 15 20 uh, n number of mode uh, as per your convenience okay you have to just change certain programming script over there so my dear friends uh, please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel for more technical videos thank you